So, Joel, your very initial uh, background uh, is uh, classical music. You learn at the uh, conservatory. So, when and how did you get involved into jazz and into uh, improvised music? Well, I started the bass at nine, nine years old. It's a very, very little girl on a chair. I was too small, too little. Well, when you start so young, it's impossible already. You listen Ray Brown, Charlie Eden, Devil and or William Parker. It's impossible. So I just start classical. It's a good background because I know my tool. I know very well my tool. And I play the bass in for long, long years. So I, with a lot of, of course, different uh, experience. First, you finish your studies, classical art, but you have to finish the studies. It's like this. It's totally international. Um, then, by curiosity, I'm curious, and I continue to be in my age, quite old, uh, certain age, um, to be curious. So, what creative music happened in Paris? It was American Center. Uh, Without finish my classical background, I was there. I don't know why. I had a kind of bicycle, uh, velo motor, and I went there to listen to free jazz. I'm a shy of free jazz. It's not just improvisation. Improvisation arrived later. I'm a shy of... At the end of, of the 60s. Yeah, 69, exactly. Uh, I'm a shy. I like to say that. I'm a shy of free jazz. Everybody was there. I didn't know that. I listen jazz to buy some vinyl and blah blah because when you bass player, oh my God, how to forget the so important bass player in jazz, real jazz. So I went in the American Center and I, and I listened to this crazy musician, you know, and I re repeat again and again: Bill Dixon, Anthony Braxton, Rashid Ali, Frank Wright, Frank Lowe, Wells, uh, Art Ensemble. Chicago. I was there to listen to say, well, what they're doing, these people? What they're doing? I remember different concerts, and continue arriving to finish my study classical. So I could say I have this knowledge, or background, I don't know, it's just uh, emotionally or this curiosity to what's happened in the creative music. I think it's a Braxton, as he says, really good things. The creative music uh, could be composed or not. And of course, on that, this field, you have free improvisation. But in jazz, you have a lot of improvisations. Music is not just because you have a thematic and something else. It depends the orchestration, it depends the band, it depends the instrumentalist. But improvisation is so natural. It's a natural music. So I was between to finish my classical uh, background. Music is good. It give you a force and knowledge of your uh, instrument. And um, curiosity about what's happened in my century to listen to what's up in creative music, or you have this new music, contemporary music. But this is different because contemporary music is a composer, decide everything, who compose everything, knows everything, and the performer, they are <laughs> shut up and play, you know. So, but because, well, if I say that, because I cross that, I play quite a lot of new music, it means composition, composing different, uh, not symphony orchestra, but chamber orchestra. So I had this kind of a three, I call that now, trilogy, trilogy, classical, uh, 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 contemporary, my century, and this freedom, this Afro-American musician, give me, I don't know how to say in English, a coup de pied au cul, on dit. The kick off. Exactly, say hey. They kick your eye. Yeah, exactly, the lesson is, be you, do it, uh, go. This comes from America, it doesn't come from Europe. The spontaneity. Or, yeah, and responsibility is not, oh, I'm free, oh, no, no, you're not free, by the way. Freedom, I don't know, even if it exists. But I mean, it was a lesson, life lesson. It was this uh, day life, it was this energy, this love, this jubilation, and I add this life ceremony. This, I am a child of that, and again, I have to uh, thank them. In the middle, I did a lot of things because I work also with dancer, I work with poetry, I work, who else? Also exhibition, painting, I was there. I like this because we can learn a lot to the other one. But the vibes, in certain way, yes, it uh, comes from free jazz. 
then we can develop, it could, it could be long. Uh, we know what's happened in free jazz scene. Uh, and also we know, I'm the second generation in Europe, not like uh, Bratzmann or Alex Lippenbach or Derek Bailey, or, I'm the second. Uh, we know also, or we knew also, what happened in America uh, in terms of jazz, all this fantastic musician, but also this so important music, the free jazz. And I was attractive by that. Uh, and I continue to be. It's a part of my, uh, yes, a part of my freedom, in a way. <laughs>
when did you arrive first uh, in the US and who do we who, who do you met uh, there the first time you arrived in uh, in the US uh -huh. well the first time I arrived in 1976 because I received an uh, American grant to work with Morton Fedman and John Cage also were there in Buffalo New York and because I'm curious again and again I took the Greyhound you know the bus Greyhound and I went I had to be in New York downtown New York and the first musician I met, can you imagine, it was Leroy Jenkins, I remember, on the village, we took a café or café crème or who else. And later, I stayed maybe four or five days, not more, Fred Hopkins, the bass player Fred Hopkins. He invited me, it was, I don't know, 40 or 42 Street, I don't know, uptown, of course. And just to talk, I was so young, maybe, <laughs> this uh, woman from France arriving and, but, of course, I met William Parker, but I didn't play with William. I played with William because when I returned after the sea in Buffalo, I, I was, I don't know if I was more free, but I decided to build my life in a way to, well, create, to invent my life. We, this also we can talk about, but we will see if we have time. Um, I had to play in London in 78 to give a solo already. Anthony Wood actual jazz festival to play solo and the guy called me hey Joel you know um, another bass player want to play with you you know him Peter Kowald I'm so I never say no say, oh yes of course oh yeah he want to play with you in duo mafia bass you know the bass player you know it's a beautiful family anyway and we play in duo so in this case Quickly, the more two months later, he invited me in Wuppertal. If you play in Wuppertal, you play in Berlin. You know, it was just with this FMP production label. Blah, blah. So to play with uh, uh, Koval means something. It's very important for me. And uh, this year, I think the year later, in 80, maybe, this vision, it was not the name Vision Festival. It was sound, I think, sound unit, or stuff like this. I remember we played downtown, everybody was there. Everybody passed also. I saw mm. Cecil, maybe on at Common Pass or Passos. Mm. And we played in Quartet, four bass with William. I met William in uh. Quartet, not in Dio, later okay. in Dio. William, um, uh, uh, Peter, Peter mm -hmm. Cobalt, me, and Paul Rogers, this okay. uh, British. So we played in Quartet, tac, tac. And uh, so I was there for the festival. Mm. It was fantastic. Oh, I remember, my God. Uh, oh, yes. And then it's like this to play, you know, the year after, I cannot remember exactly, I received this uh, grant uh, from Berlin, the D.A.A.D. And William in this time was, it's a long time with the Cecil Taylor band, mm. you know, was in, in New York. And we start to play in duo, William and me. Uh, so, and it's like this, because I play different time in, in, in Vision. Um, so this still so 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 thing. that means for you the vision festival is something important and oh, yes. to, and to have this lifetime achievement at the vision festival what does that mean for you this lifetime yes oh i don't want to cry no uh -huh. i'm not no but this so touched me deeply Pfft. why why when you don't ask anything when everything can happen, when you just welcome, you open arms and you welcome. But we have the job. I don't know if the music is a profession. We have to continue. We have people do what they want. It's not the point. You do what you can also. But just to continue to be open, to be in love in a way. And with your tool, my tool carries this bass. We know that because, uh, and I will talk uh, uh, the 13th June really in front of the audience. I'm so touched. I'm so... Uh, they invite me, you know. They invite few European musicians, a woman, bass player, you know, from France. They could invite all the French, I'm sorry, all the French uh, musicians. And I just, uh, because I asked to Patricia, I said, Patricia, I have to thank you, of course. All I'm so happy, very happy. Did not show well. It's not us. It's a New York musicians propose your name. This is double, uh, how do you say? 
happy. You know, the, the I'm very, very touched, especially about this community, uh, Afro-American community, because we know not only, but it's really Afro-American community, and it's also who else? Mm. From the jazz people in the past. Huh? Mm. Um, and uh, we will be busy <laughs> this evening. Now I have to thank them, and uh, that's all. Uh, I'm ready, I will be ready.
The jazz scene has always been uh, dominated by men. Yes. Most of the jazz musicians are men. Was it uh, hard for you to impose yourself in such an uh, env environment? And uh, maybe the, do you think that uh, the situation has changed for women? Well, God is. It's a, it's a good question because we are few, of course, change just a little bit. Because we are fantastic musicians, it's not because they are men or women, but uh, it's only in jazz uh, scene or field we say um, it, 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 we belong to develop. Definitely, I don't want what I know and understood. Uh, girl, woman has, has have to be there. Uh, it's not only in this planet. Only men create, or men invent, and men decide. And uh, I think they are they are important. And we know uh, and we listen. Um, so important musician, woman musician, is a combat. It's more difficult, I think, to be not adopted, but to be to to be. Admit, I don't know even if it exists, um, by the guy, by the man, a musician, brother. It's not just because you have to be strong, you have to be good, you have to be. Um, Do you think you you have to be better because you are a maybe woman? Maybe you have to be better. Maybe you have. A, how to say? In any case, the decision, the filter, to be you means the decision is a man world. Do you know a lot of festivals uh, 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 built, create, uh, make the programmation by a woman, uh, a magazine, uh, a label, producer, it's only men. Right. So how to do? So you have to be very good and to pass this filter. I think I pass it, this filter, but I work maybe three or four times more than them. Uh, uh, I think it's my, my, my nature also, uh, I'm a, like, you know, uh, uh, not a war, we have enough war around us, but it means... So do you think it was a struggle for you to impose yourself on this? Uh, it's not, it was not a, a, a walk to impose, it was just the fact to be and continue to say I am like that. It's a part of my freedom. Of course, jazz or free jazz uh, uh, helped me, was around me to understand that. Even the term uh, freedom, to be you, to become you, to open your mouth, to say, hey, I like a banana, but I don't like apple. If you like a banana, you like a banana. You know the apple exists, but you don't like apple. This is exactly the choice of life. And this is not too much, who else? Maybe it's a man, you have to ask the question to the man. The man have to change. They have just to welcome, open the arms, say, hey, hey, oh, we're different, come, come, come with us. And we try something, we will play. The only music, it's not the jazz, the only music who has and we have no hierarchy, hierarchy, is when you improvise, call improvisation or free music, and all the th this is come from Europe, the free music. But when you improvise, you have no age, you have no man, you have no woman, you have just the musicians say, have to say urgently to say some things. And this is the only music exists. The rest, you have the leader, you have the boss, you have the person who decides, or you have the composer, means some things. It's the same in Europe. So, it's the, and this is so important. That's why I'm very, and I was attractive all the time by that, because I passed this classical boom, boom field, and even the jazz. I never played really straight jazz, but you have a leader who decides for you. And the moment I was tired, they say, hey, guy, maybe I have idea, maybe I have my concept, maybe I... But this is a long process. I go to my 72 to speak like that. So I continue all my life in this kind of uh, way, you know, just the way, not the goal, but the way. Um, it's my character. I'm 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 subversive person. I'm a rebel. I'm a pure rebel. It's me. Uh, but I speak for, of course, the woman. 
have to take the wall, say, okay, I, I do that and I will continue. I think artists are obsessional. We are obsession, men or women, the painters, of, and we find after and after years uh, your vocabulary, and the vocabulary needs maybe to learn a lot, and you have to earn, learn. And in a moment you say, hey guy, but I play like this, it's me. And if you believe on that, you pass, you cross the audience, and the public say, wow, well, puff, man or woman. This is, but nobody gives you the key. Personally, me and me, I was totally alarmed to go in the club and listen jazz. To say, you know, it's bizarre the bass player you play with the fingers, for example. Or listen or buy some vi vinyl in this time. I remember to find this uh, uh, Slam Stewart. Fantastic, you know, and that's singing with a swing in the bow. With the boy, oh, what's fantastic? Well, and I bought a lot. I was like, like, Chaos in certain way, in for me, me, my way, and of inside the sound because music is sound. It depends on how you build. It become. I don't make a difference with uh, between Vivaldi, uh, Miles Davis, and uh, give me a jazz or, or Mingus. It's exactly a moment by this uh, repetition, by this obsession. You repeat exactly, and you have not a style even. Just you have to say, hey, this is mice. This sound. This is Evan Parker. This is Vivaldi. I make a no difference because Vivaldi finds it. Uh, cooked, he cooked, you know, and he, he repeats the things, and you can recognize Vivaldi, but you can recognize my Davis also, and, and blah, blah, blah. This I understood. After years and years, uh, after. Um, and uh, do you think we can recognize your Leon? Well, I, I cannot, maybe, but I cannot uh, answer that. I hope, I hope in a way. Uh, I think so. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but I believe on that. This uh, I call this this obsession, and we don't know is the is the fact we this music, uh, like Braxton said, this creative music, is not commercial. And the, the job, the work, this believe on you, this uh, is a doubler, it's more than doubler. And you have to continue like, like a worker. I'm a worker. I'm a bee, you know, pew, 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 listen different thing. I'm a bee, bass player and a worker uh, of music. <laughs>
So I think your objective has always been to, to bring the double bass up front from the back of the stage where the double bass is most often. It's a good question. This is true. Yeah, this instrument had to be fond, you know, in Italian you could say back. And, uh, but I think it's a totally international. Uh, when you're on the road, I'm almost not 50, but 48 years on the road, and you understand we know each other as bass player. This family, it's a beautiful family. Really, international family, beautiful. You understand? The bass player, I don't know, they are worker, they build something else, they decide, they lead sometimes, they have a band, they compose, uh, some are producer, they, they open... Uh, uh, and this is quite typical bass player. First, I have to say that, and it's true, the low instrument uh, is just for, in Europe, before America become America, in Europe, we have this kind of, again, this hierarchy on the instrumentarium. And we have a noble instrument, you know, and unnoble. Bass player, we are not noble. We are not noble. Unnoble, we say. So this uh, was for me uh, uh, a lot of questions. And when you love, you know, we're not attractive. You, even when a, a person speaks, well, 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 well. you cannot hear, you know, say, oh God, uh, what to say? And we don't like to be on the on back, on the cave. So, mm -hmm. well, 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 stay, stay in your cave, yeah. stay in the cave, yeah, happy. No, we need the light also, in a way. This is it's a metaphor also. But this, uh, this, this instrument, who decides this instrument? Uh, maybe the jazz decide. Who decide it can be just in binom with the drums? But it's for me, okay. But this instrument can be also solo. It's a rich instrument. It's a beautiful instrument. And this call me, you know, your question is good, but call me to change, of course, to change that. I'm not alone. It would be stupid to think I'm alone. And this is a work. It was, uh, it continued to be my, my work, my, my position. Say, hey, hey. Listen, this instrument is so beautiful, and it continue to be, and I continue, you know, not to prove. It's not that it will be wrong. So I don't want to prove, just to make no hierarchy again so, and again. So all the instruments to be equal. Yes, exactly. That's all, and this also a uh, soloist instrument, of course, definitely. <laughs>
to finish with a on a funny note. Oh, thank you. The 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 first time you I would like to you to tell the stories of when you came first in the US when you went to the grocery store to buy some food. Oh la la. <laughs> Oh la la, winter, when I can, I, well, it's, it's quite short, yeah, it's funny, yes, it's funny in a way. I, arriving in Buffalo, I was uh, received this grant for one year, and probably, surely, it's not probably, surely, I just knew a few, ten words, you know, ten or twelve, just, hi, uh, how are you? Yes, couldn't speak English or American. And I was there with a good friend, piano player, in this house. In Buffalo, and a moment is really please. You have to move, to, to, to do something, go to the downtown because it was a little bit outside. And I, I decide to go uh, take the bus. I was almost last, even young. Oh God! And um, he said, "You go. You will find a grocery or the, the kind. Of, it's not grocery. The name." Uh, uh, drugstore, exactly. Where you find everything. You can find the eggs, a stilo, a paper, everything. And he wrote me uh, food, some food, a salad, a four yogurt, a milk, litter, something. And I wrote that. I write, and I took my bus. Oh my God. I arrived in this uh, uh, drugstore. And this I say, Hi, uh, please, may I have some uh, a salad? A food. What's well, not the problem? Just turn the right and fast and turn the goat. And he, 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 just first floor, fried right and right, yogurt and salad. Same problem. I was lost. Nothing. Maybe I, I forgot my name. Who I was there? Who my? Who, who is my 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 mother, Papa? Where I am? I am which country? What I'm doing there? And I tell you. Guys, this is a metaphor, but I find by myself my salad, my yogurt, my milk, and this is a metaphor of my life. <laughs>